Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Got a question. Is Coindesk, owned by DCG, who is about to file for bankruptcy, purposely trying to crash the price of crypto by making up BS scare reports? Well, that might actually be the case with story titles like this. Justice Department to announce major international crypto enforcement action. And you know, like Modern Investor did actually bring this to my attention here. And I don't really agree with him on all his assumptions, but it does look like this particular topic is kind of designed to raise people's fears about crypto. Now, this might just be for clicks. What this really is, is that the DOJ is looking to investigate an exchange in Hong Kong. Not such a big deal because exchanges are getting investigated all the time and a small one in Hong Kong doesn't really matter. But the big headline, Justice Department to announce major international crypto enforcement action is very different. It sounds like they're going for major international regulations that's gonna target a lot of people and a lot of exchanges, but they're just investigating one crypto exchange in Hong Kong, which is pretty run of the mill stuff. DCG might be bitter and so is Barry Silbert and he could be a very spiteful man. We don't really know that. Remember, DCG and Genesis are finally, finally filing for bankruptcy and they do own Coindesk. So maybe their philosophy is if we can't have it, then the rest of everything is going to get burned down with us. And I really hope people don't go for this. And I do not think people will. Now, do I think this actually made the crypto market dip? No, I don't think this is what actually made the crypto market dip. There's only a limited amount of people that actually watch Coindesk. And if you can see right now, uh, Bitcoin is at 20700 and it's still above 21000 The reason for this dip is most obviously um, the big stock uh, decrease today of negative 600. You'll notice the NASDAQ only went down 126 at uh, negative 1.14 when the Dow went down negative 1.78, which means the NASDAQ is holding stronger. Tech actually dumped by a lot beforehand, and I do believe they're going to sustain better than financials at this point. I don't mind financials dipping. I actually want financials to dip a lot so the Fed will actually change its mind. Also, the Fed's hawkish tone that one of the governors said they're looking at a 50 basis point rise, which is different from the 25 basis point rise that a previous governor says, means that there is division in the Fed ranks about how much to raise interest rates. But if the Dow continues to fall the next few days and bank reports come out worse uh, than expected the next few days, Jerome Powell may actually have to relent. And I do hope that he does have to relent because if he doesn't relent, you know, crypto is going down once again. But if he does relent, crypto could come back up. It's pretty easy to see that crypto follows the NASDAQ. And as the NASDAQ is going down today, although less than the Dow, crypto is actually going down um, as well, but not that much, which means crypto has a lot of staying power. There was a lot of demand around the $20,000 area. There was even more demand around the upper teens area. But it does actually seem uh, that like, the layoffs and the bad um, earnings reports from places like Goldman Sachs might actually temper the Fed's decision to actually not raise interest rates by quite as much and hopefully pivot sooner than we thought. So that's where we're going right now. And as you can see, the stock market is dipping more right now. And the crypto market is actually holding quite a bit better, uh, especially than the major stock, um, like the stock indexes not by percentage points, but by what they usually actually dip by. So yeah, Coindesk article, a lot of FUD. Is it purposeful? Maybe. Did it actually cause the uh, crypto market drop? Most likely not, but it does look like it's trying to feed into the crypto market drop. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.